Hey guys, Mal the Train Tutor back in the corner and back with another tutorial for you. And this one's a this one's a bit of a menagerie to be truthful. It's all about rolling pins. Not these sort of rolling pins, but all sorts of different rolling pins. You're watching that roll now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, okay, this video's sort of come about because I got sent some rolling pins, uh, there's an old technique I'd like to show you, and it all sort of come together, and actually that'll make a good fit. So what we're going to be looking at, right, we're going to be looking at using rolling pins to texture, texture foam board, texture expanded polystyrene, texture green stuff, yeah, and texture our terrain, yeah. Uh, we've got three things to look at, commercial rolling pins, scratch built home rolling pins, and 3D rolling pins, uh, 3D printed rolling pins, homemade ones. Uh, da -da -da. Let's do the commercial ones first, come on over to the desk. Okay, commercial rolling pins, yeah? Uh, there's a company out there called Green Stuff World and they make these rolling pins. A little while ago, yeah, I ordered this sort of little hole punch off them, yeah? And it makes leaf shapes, yeah? So you put your card in, punch it, careful for both, and the leaves pop out the bottom. Yeah, and someone must have spotted my email address or something like that, because I got an email from them saying, look, we'd like to send you some rolling pins, is that okay? And of course it is. I like showing stuff off as long as it's useful. Yeah, so they sent me these three rolling pins, and what I've got here is, I've got their cobblestone, and this looks really bleached out. I hope you guys can see these, okay? But it's got a cobblestone texture on it, okay? And these are basically engraved in. Yeah, we've got a wooden one. And then finally, we've got another sort of brick laid one, pavement. Okay, now these are designed for working with bases, okay, not specifically terrain as such, yeah, and the idea is that you work with green stuff, so, a bit of green stuff down, yeah, and then you just get your rolling pin, and hey presto, peel it up, <laughs> knack of the texture as you do, yeah, obviously, yeah, but there you go. Yeah, and there's all sorts of textures. There's that pavement texture as well. Yeah, let me show you that. No, not the pavement texture, the wooden one. And then quick and easy. Focus. Yeah. So really nice textures on them. Then the idea is you put your green stuff over your base, you roll over it, trim the edges, and you have a lovely textured base when it hardens. Now green stuff is a bit excessive for terrain building. I mean, I suppose you could do a couple of thin sheets, you know, and cut them out and place them inside your buildings if you really wanted to. Yeah, but, you know, it's a bit OTT unless you're doing diorama level work. But these can be used on other materials. So let me get some things. So moving on to terrain building. Uh, I've played around with various different materials with these rolling pins and what I've found is balsa wood, you can get the texture onto balsa wood, yeah, especially the wood texture, but the problem is that the moment you put any paint on it, the balsa wood swells up, it pushes out the texture and you lose it. I did try it with Das Modeling Putty and as long as the putty is nice and thick you can use it to get a good texture. The problem is if you smear the putty over something like foam board where it's quite thin, then some of these larger ones, they have a tendency to pull up and, and lift out, what you call it, the milliput. Yeah, even when they're greased. So, mm, you know, a little bit too fiddly. I think in that case, you know, for terrain, the amount of time it would save, you know, you lose sort of doing patchwork and that sort of stuff. That being said, I got brilliant results with high density foam. Okay, so start off with a cobblestone. Yeah, high density foam, this is just what? Uh, 10 mil thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it across. And every little bit of a bit of a roll, I'm going to roll it back and then roll it forward again. The reason I'm rolling it back when I do it, yeah, is because if I go all the way one way and then come back, yeah, the chances of it being exactly on the same line, very slim. So rolling it backwards and forwards as I go up is the best way of keeping things lined up. There we go. And bring it up. Yeah, look 
at that for a texture. Isn't that nice? Now that texture, that will do for walls, it'll do for floors. I think you might have a little bit of trouble sort of blending in the edges, but a bit of touch-up work wouldn't be hard at all, yeah, to get the results on that. But that is really nice. I mean, you could easily pre-texture a load of walls, yeah, before putting a building together. You know, cut the shapes out, yeah, run the roller over it to get your wall texture, cut all your, your doors and windows out, knee it up, and you are laughing. So, very quickly, let's have a look at the others. Right. Next one. I'll do these quick. And there's the pavement one. Really, really nice. I mean, remember, you could actually do roads and stuff in this. Yeah, just get some really thin, get some, say, 5 mil. Okay, or even strip 5 mil out, out of foam board, take one layer off it. Do your cobble texture and then blend in with which like milliput or filler to the sides to give the embankment. So you get a lovely stone texture. Right, let's do the wood very quickly. Let's see if I can. I haven't actually done the wood on expanded, so I'm not sure. I only went for the cobblestones when I was playing around with it. Let's see what sort of results we get. Mm. That's not bad at all. Do you know what these could do with a lick of paint on them, couldn't they? Let me get these painted up. So there you have it guys, that's uh, commercial rolling pins. Yeah, that's the first one covered. Now obviously these are from Green Stuff World. Yeah, I haven't actually seen any other commercial rolling pins to be truthful. Uh, they do a whole range of them of various different things. Great for basing, but there's a few of them that I do think will work well with terrain, especially the cobblestone stuff. Yeah, and the pavement stuff as you've seen. Yeah, uh, I'll throw a link to them in the comments. Now obviously, yeah, texturing with rolling pins, quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, but what happens if you don't want to buy these and you just want to do a rough stone texture? Well, there's a solution. We can make our own. So, let me get me stuff. We'll crack on with making our own rolling pins. Okay, guys, that was uh, commercial rolling pins. And you've got the basic idea that we use a rolling pin to force a texture into a substance, whether it's a modeling putty or whether it's a high density foam. Yeah, now you can make your own if you don't want to buy them. Now, there's an old school, both of these methods are old school. I'm only going to talk about one and I'll show you the other. The first one is get a piece of wood, okay? Get a Dremel and basically Dremel in all the details. It's a lot of work. I've never done it. I know someone who has and they say it's a nightmare. They have to do it quite a few times because you have to match it up all the way around so it's circular, if you know what I mean. It's continuous, yeah, which can be quite challenging unless you plan it out meticulously at the start. That being said, putting the, the idea of Dremel in and doing all that work, you know, it's there. You can do it if you want something special, but generally I'd avoid it. Yeah, like I say, you can get commercial ones that you can probably fit. Now, if you have to just a rough stone texture, yeah, then there's another method. And this is one of those old, old school ones, yeah. And the basic premise is that we use a tin foil, a simple tube, whether this could be anything, but anything round, you know, that we can use it and reasonably solid because we're going to be putting a bit of pressure on it yeah and then we need some glue now you can use pva for this yeah pva takes a little while to dry so i'm using fast tack yeah it's just quicker for the purpose of the tutorial now what you want to do is get yourself off a reasonable runner foam foam foil yeah and then scrunch it all off really scrunch it all up yeah then you gotta unpick it without ripping it up. Folks, what have you done? You'll come back after the flash. Look, there you have it. All stretched out, and you can see the texture on it now. Yeah, how it's been crumpled up, straightened out. Don't worry about the odd little rip and that sort of stuff. It's not a problem. Yeah, next job. 
a quick spray. Yeah, I'm going to do this outside because of the face and everything. So, back in a second. There we go, all sprayed up with our adhesive. Yeah, and then the next job is we just need to attach it to our rolling pin. I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to flatten it out. Yeah, obviously this is a texture. If we press too hard, yeah, what we'll end up with is a flat rolling pin, which is no good for us. Yeah, so, keep it coming. Yeah, keep rolling. I'll rip that bit off there just so I don't have a hole in it. There we go. Yeah. Give it a bit of a scrunch. Yeah, this is different from rolling it flat because you're getting different bumps and that sort of stuff in it. Yeah, if you roll it flat, you'll get it completely flat. This is a good way of just getting it all stuck down, get it nice and firm, so you get that texture. You can feel that texture. I mean, there's a lot of friction coming off that. You know, if I slide my hand up and down it, yeah, you get quite a bit of heat off that. Right, and... Yeah, the effect... Yeah. Should I tell you what? Very quickly, we'll fast forward this as well. A bit rough and ready, but there you go. I put a couple of big bricks, yeah, and a couple of slabs there, just so you can see the different textures. So get a rolling pin. Yeah, put it down. Took it too close to the edge. There you go. Oh, right. And if I bring it up, yeah, you see the same te texture in that. Yeah, lovely texture. Really subtle, but lovely texture. Yeah, uh, let's get this painted up, eh? So they have it, really easy, homemade texturing rolling pins. Now obviously, yeah, you can watch got add grit to it and do all sorts of things to get different textures. You can shorten the you can sort of shorten it and crumple it up a bit more and get bigger ridges and that sort of stuff. But the principle is using the foil, yeah, to get your basic structure, yeah, and then just having it stuck down and fixed. Yeah, and like I say, brilliant stone texture guys. Right, that's what you call it. That's old school. Now let's have a look at the future. So finally, a little bit of the future. Okay, one of my watch what patrons got in touch, a guy called Marcus Cruz. Yeah, and he says, I've 3D printed some roller pins for watch clip for making tree texture. And I was like, all right then. He says, I've done two, one for you. So he sent this over and basically sent over this little plastic attachment. Let me bring that up. Yeah, and I've mounted it just on uh, a big paper clip. Yeah, and it's basically a roll with a little texture in. Yeah, and what I've done is I've got a bit of uh, green stuff and I've just wedged it round this bit of a twig so I can show you. So if you come along, yeah, what you can do with this, it's easier if I do it with it actually lying down to be truthful. So I'll put some force into it. Not too hard, Bose. And if I bring it back up, focus. Do you see that texturing? Yeah, really lovely, really lovely. And I really like this, okay? Because this is the future, okay? 3D printing is becoming easier. Something small and tiny like this wouldn't be costly, yeah? And the ease of putting it together, making a texturing rolling, rolling, what would this be, a rolling brush? Yeah, literally so easy. And the results are really nice really really nice yeah so dead simple dead easy yeah with 
some really, really good results. Yeah, so big shout out to Marcus for sending that over. Like I say, can't really show you more than just rolling it, you know what I mean? But this is the future, guys. This is where it's going. You know, so it's going to be interesting. Give it a year or two when things like this start becoming more commercially available. I reckon we'll be seeing a lot more texturing rolling pins in the future. Right, that about covers rolling pins. Let's get set up. So guys, I think we've covered texturing with rolling pins now. I mean, we've covered the old school ways. Yeah, okay, we haven't engraved one yet, but that's a lot of work. And, yeah. yeah. We've covered the commercial present. Yeah, Green Stuff World. Lovely tools, lovely results as you saw. Yeah, so go check those guys out. And we've covered the future. Yeah, homemade re rolling pins. Big thanks to Marcus for that one. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy playing with this a lot more. Yeah, lovely texture. So that's it, that's texturing with rolling pins. Now you can texture with imprinting, you can do all sorts of different things, but hopefully this will have given you a few ideas that you can take away and maybe make a road, maybe make texturing your buildings that you're putting together. Just remember, you know, texturing before you put them to bit <laughs> together. One like rolling over a, a built building, come on. Yeah, that's not going to go down well. So there you have it, guys. Yeah, like I say, that about covers it for this video, and I hope you found it useful. As always, guys, yeah, like, share, and all that sort of stuff. If you've got any questions, any experience, yeah, in the comments. And as always, yeah, if you really do like these videos, they find them helpful, they save you a dolly, or you just look forward to them, yeah, consider the Patreon $1 pledge thingy, yeah, really does help. It keeps me out of the warehouse, it keeps me warm, and it keeps me making tutorials and videos for you guys. So, you know, if you like it, give us a bit, give us a bit of help, eh? Anyway, time to crack on. There is D-Day updates coming up. There's a snowboard from Salute coming up. And there are a lot more things coming up because I've got wire armature trees on the go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll see you. If I don't see you before, I'll see you Sunday night, 9 o'clock UK time. All the best, yeah? See you on the live show. ta -da.